yeah there it is man this is what they gave us at the theater for uh, going to check out the uh, survival Sunday fear the walking dead the walking dead crossover event just want to show that to you one more time man because I thought this was just dope I thought this was dope <laughs> okay so I spent a little bit of time just kind of venting and ranting about the finale for The Walking Dead. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and uh, and talk about it, okay? What I am really, really nervous about is next season. At the end of season eight for the finale of The Walking Dead, Rick Grimes decided to save Negan. And Michonne was with him. And I guess she backed up her, you know, backed up her man and the doctor that um, Carl kind of sacrificed his life for. Um, those three are going to keep Negan imprisoned forever. Okay, so Negan's in jail. Maggie, um, Jesus, Daryl, and the rest of the crew, they're going to play along and kind of just ride along with Rick Grimes, okay? until they get to a point where they can take off and, 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 I guess, destroy him. Who knows? If you go against Rick Grimes in the past, you died. What is going to be the result of Maggie and Rick colliding, okay? And the way that Maggie is right now, she is at a point where she's at a breaking point. She's already snapped mentally, man. If you can see the emotion and the anger when she was on that hill and just expressing complete frustration and anger towards Rick Grimes, there's no going back, man. So now we have a threat of a mega herd heading towards wherever the hell they're heading to. And instead of the group being together as one, we're now divided. Divided because of one person. So, Negan is here in the middle, they're on the outside, and this herd is surrounding them, pretty much. That's what Season 9 is going to give us. I don't understand how we're going to make it out of this, because if we are dividing ourselves, while this threat of probably, I would say, at least 500 to 1,000 walkers on the screen at one time, take the... What was the construction site where all that concrete was at? Times that times three, and that's what you have. It is a it is a mega herd. It it is it is so giant and massive that you, that it looks like trees. It looks like a moving forest, and it it gives you goosebumps, man, when you talk about it because you're like, how how is how was Rick and the gang? How are they gonna survive? Number one, without Morgan. Morgan's not there anymore. Um, Rick was like, you can run and you can hide. Um, you can run, but you can't hide from the situation that we're in, the life that we're in, you know, that we're living or whatever. Um, and Morgan took off. <laughs> he went from Virginia and ran and then drove and walked and ran and drove and walked all the way down to Texas. So that's it. And, you know, with him, man, whenever Morgan is alive and, and around whatever group he's around, they usually survive. Um, something about Morgan that makes him special, his character and they're without him now and I, I don't I don't know if I necessarily agree with how it went down um, but I do appreciate it because the result is that we had a perfect Fear the Walking Dead episode and premiere which has never happened you know since the premiere of Fear the Walking Dead since season one um, Fear the Walking Dead has had so so much trouble all right um, it started to kind of get it together whenever they got with the group that was protecting the uh, the whale or the dam, or whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, Nick, you know, uh, to save his mother and the rest of the gang, he blew it up. Um, that was pretty much the last episode that I thought was really, really decent for Fear of the Walking Dead. But this episode, the Fear of the Walking Dead season four opener has shot to the top, has shot to the very, very top of uh, the whole entire Walking Dead, you know, um, um, community, you know, uh, universe whatever you want to call it. it it was magnificent it was perfect it was it was it was glorious man um morgan was by himself he met this dude that was like the, obviously he's from texas he's a texas dude he met this cowboy gunslinger 
Gunslinger is the Terminator from the Sir, uh, Chrono, uh, Sir Connor uh, Chronicles, and he was all alone too. And they come together, and then they run into a situation to where uh, Morgan, being Morgan, wanted to be alone. Uh, he finds this little small campsite, tries to take it over, meaning he just tries to, you know, lay down and get some rest. And then some guys, you know, that were up to no good start making trouble inside of his neighborhood. He gets into one little fight. And this girl comes in from a SWAT. She has a SWAT vehicle, and she gets scared. And then they, they battle it out, okay? So <laughs> it's kind of played out like a Fresh Prince, you know, rap or whatever. But um, <laughs> it's it's just that was the way it was, man. And, and um, it was perfect. I mean, it was just these characters, man. They, they come together, man. Um, the, the girl that was in the SWAT vehicle, she's a journalist, and she wants to just capture people's memories and their thoughts and, and you know, where they've been she wants to get their story and then i guess tell it to the world or whatever and um they, they come together anyway they fight off the bad guys you know and then they continue driving down the road and that's when they meet up with alicia and alicia does this you know thing that alicia does which is she can really make people believe that she's injured that she's hurt and that she's vulnerable and she <laughs> she's in the middle of the road she's like oh help me Oh gosh, oh, I'm so scared. And then the girl, you know, gets out, the the um, journalist, and then Morgan gets out, you know, and then the, the gunslinger, they walk forward, they, they approach her or whatever, and then there's an ambush. And so you see Nick, um, you see that one black dude, whoever, whatever his name is, and then you see the one um, uh, Latino chick, whatever her name is. But um, they're all together. Those four, those four characters are together against these three characters, and now you have... Uh, you know this this sort of uh, <laughs> this sort of crossover. It's it's the crossover is now connected to Fear the Walking Dead, man. So that's how Morgan and the rest of the group uh, meet up with the brand new characters, and it was just marvelous, man. I, I was I was I was on the edge of my seat. There was moments where I actually you know would tear up because you know Morgan is such a great character. He's just fractured inside, man. And I, I don't know. I kind I just I relate to him so much, man. You know because of everything I've gone through, you know, in my life, and, and I feel like our characters are kind of, I don't know, I feel like we're similar for some reason, you know, with all the shit that I've been through and all the shit that he's been through, so it's pretty cool to see uh, that happen, man. Um, I am I am really happy with the result. Um, I was nervous. I didn't know how good it was going to be. I'm disappointed with the, the Walking Dead finale, but I think that they did make up for it. So it seems as if AMC is heading in the right direction. They just... They keep stumbling, you know, tripping, falling, getting back up along the way, and we, you can't do that that whole perfect writing on one episode, shit writing on the other episode, perfect. You can't keep doing that whole roller coaster, man. You you, we need some some consistency. We need some great writing. We need some great editing, uh, acting, directing, all that stuff. We just, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say, man. I don't know if the, if, the, if the showrunners need to be fired, if the writers need to be fired. I don't know. I mean, the mixing and matching between, you know, um, universes, I think that's cool, man. But how can, how can AMC and The Walking Dead universe, how can it expand beyond two shows? How can it, and how can it expand like, you know, DCTV is doing on um, the CW if it doesn't get a solid foundation, you know? Because I thought that they were, they were working on another um, show. You know? and they got the video game coming out and a lot of good stuff, but they just they just can't get it together. But anyway, um, the good thing is is that The Fear of the Walking Dead is on a good track, a good start. And, and the good thing is that The, the Walking Dead Season 9 it might be a soft reboot, um, meaning that we're not going to be a whole family unit. We're going um, to bump heads with each other. So Maggie, Daryl... Um, Jesus and the rest of the gang against Michonne, Rick, and uh, the Doctor. So that's where we're at, man. And then Negan is right in the middle, and and then that mega herd, which is which is just a beautiful, beautiful um, creation. Whoever's responsible for that. But yeah, AMC man, salute to you. Uh, I'm glad that you got it together for Fear of the Walking Dead. Just put a little bit more effort into uh, the Walking Dead. That's it, guys. I'm out here. Is that? Is it working? Hello? Oh, 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 wow.
Yeah. There it is, man. This is what they gave us at the theater for uh, going to check out the uh, Survival Sunday Fear the Walking Dead, the Walking Dead crossover event. just want to show that to you one more time, man, because I thought this was just dope. I thought this was dope. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. For the first time in reviewing The Walking Dead, I'm going to take it very, very easy on uh, AMC and everybody, okay? 